Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got out of that Dynamax cave and you know, we also just got back from catching a shiny out of that cave. <coughs> which I think I'm going to use for a bit because why not? Let's change the team up a little bit. We've had like a few solid members throughout this playthrough. So um, yeah, after all that work, I'm putting Nessie in the, the PC right away. I want to put, I'm going to put Nessie, I'm going to put Aurorus, and I want to put the President down here because they're a little more notable. They've been in my team for quite some time. I will give a nickname to the Frostmoth. I already have a name planned out. But hey, if it's a shiny and if it's a nice type, why not? Let's, let's use it. The, it's not the only one I plan to use. There's another Pokemon in this playthrough that I would like to play around like use for a bit all right why are you on the ground so what happened oh good job and here I thought you might have actually gotten into a serious accident first head <laughs> Oh my goodness, this guy. Well, here's how it went. Teenagers, am I right? Did I introduce myself at any point? No. I don't think I have. When it comes to the dialogue, I usually just try to read it. Or as much as I can. Sure, why not? Okay. Well, let's go. <coughs> that reminds me, I also have to fly to a Pokemon Center at some point so I can name my Frost Moth. Certainly is a lot to do here. He runs really fast for someone dressed like that and lagging around a suitcase as big as me. <coughs> like, his bag makes our bag look like it's normal sized. I still really want to cry out. I'm going to need to definitely get some Pokeballs and such. Ooh, that's free EXP. Who wants it? <laughs> Let's go, Neo. Let's beat up the Audino. Let's beat up the wild Audino for free experience. Ooh. Ah, can't use your cold. Double A. Okay, that's fine. Do some damage to yourself. That, that that's all. That's what I need. <coughs> Excuse me. In fact, you're more than welcome to do that again, uh, assuming that you're not already in ice beam range. I don't know why I'm coughing again. I don't feel sick or anything. My throat just feels ticklish again. There we go. All right, let's keep moving. All right, between episodes, there are a few things I should do. Like get my improved bike colors.
Hallo. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, so much for that. Ah, yes, Crown Tundra has lore. Lore that no one believes in. Okay, sir. But first, there's an item in here. A utility umbrella. <clears throat> All right. Ah, yes. Come on, Neo. Let's go, big guy. <laughs> Peony needs us. Pyongyang, as Mark likes to call him. Not bad, not bad. Looks like every other house. Furthermore, I love how he shouts everything. My friend, you have me intrigued at the giant golems. The Reggies are some of my favorite Pokemon to date. I think they are my favorite legendary trio, while Regice himself, hint hint, is literally like my fifth favorite Pokemon. Yeah, if that doesn't give anything away. <coughs> Chief! Yeah, I don't think so. So basically what you're telling me is that you just, you, you're just using me. Well, good luck getting your daughter back, because last time I checked, she stands around the Dynamax Raid Adventures like every single day. Preferably not. Oh yes, some legendary clues. <coughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm going to need a cryogonal for this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to either need a br I'm either going to need to use my brain a lot or the internet a lot. <coughs> yep. 
Yes, I would. Not my style. There we go. That's more like it. I... A second Master Ball. Well then, now we have two means of just catching things, whatever. That's a pillow? <coughs> if you can put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. Okay, so let me tell you why you're wrong. You can put your head on a rock. And you can sleep on a rock. That does not make the rock a pillow. Can I have it? My friend, that is a wooden, that is literally a wooden bulb of a statue part. You know what else you could put your head on? The carpet, the floor, that shovel that you had laying there. Hmm. You know what? I would like to start with the Reggies. And that is exactly what we're going to do. The stories don't necessarily have to be played in order as far as I'm concerned. So why not start with one of my favorite things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point me in the direction of the statue. I'm out of here. Alrighty, friends. So now I have to figure out exactly how to get into these ruins. One of which means I am going to need a cryogonal, which might mean I need to get some more Pokeballs and some better supplies. So, we might have to fly out in a bit. Ooh, a Focus Sash. Cool. Bomb of Snow. Ooh, more things on the ground. Oh, we're back to this again. Alright, let's, let's try not to get too terribly distracted. Aside from picking up things on the ground. Because that's how buzzards work. Hello, Nidoran. Aw, she's cute. Look at how cute she is. Ooh, she's thick. He's thick, too. Look at him. Look at that donkey. Oh, uh, the Nid Nidorans are so cute. I have to admit. I think the whole Nidoran evolutionary lines, both of them are pretty cool. I know my brother used, um... Nido Queen for his entire playthrough of his first Pokemon game. And he loved it. Interesting. Let's just hope that the writing on the door isn't as faded as the writing on your goddamn clue. Flash cannon? Hey, hey! I think I'll teach that to Neo when I have the chance. I was looking for that one. I knew I'd find it here. Aha! Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. Oh, I think you just have to whistle. Now here's the problem, though. That is a Registeel. You know, a Steel type. Pokemon I am naturally weak to. Now, I understand that the Regis are not exactly the most offensive built Titans. They're more for the defense. But Ice is not exactly the most defensive type. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Who is bet? You know what? Tusky Boy is the one Pokemon most suitable for Steel types. <coughs> so, why not? Let's go, big boy. Okay, big lad. It's a rock. Come on, man. 
Come on, big guy. You can do it. Let's see. There we go. Just whistle in front of the door and it opens. All right. Uh, now, this is going to, like, throw me back to the shiny hunting I did. I had to sit here and do this so much. Alright. We're going to save it right here. Just in case we, you know, either accidentally kill him. Yeah, I... I actually went through so much trouble shiny hunting the Regis. I managed to legitimately find the Registeel myself. It took days. But at the end of the day, it was worth it. Because in my sword, I have all three shiny Regis. I did not shiny hunt Regis in this game. And that's because I did it in Ultra Moon or Ultra Sun. And I just transferred it up. And the, Registe the Regirock, I searched on the GTS. I don't care if I didn't get it my as mine or if it was legit. I just care that I got it. And I named him Choco Mountain after the Mario Kart 64 Rage Track. Right now, I don't want to do too much damage to it because... Yeah, I mean, I guess that could work. But yeah, you could just do that to me. Alright. <clears throat> um, Max Potion, that Tusky Boy. Because we're going to be... We might be here for a little bit hucking Pokeballs at this Registeel. That's okay. Again, I'm just going to let Sand Tomb do its thing, because it seems to be doing more than enough damage. <clears throat> um, what do I have? Oh, I can chuck a Dusk Ball at it. We're in a cave. I'm not anticipating this to work first try. Yeah. That's okay, though. Let's just hope Sand Tomb does not... Yeah, Sand Tomb was not, I don't think was a good idea. We might have to re, we might have to restart. Yeah, we're going to have to restart this battle. I'm pretty sure though we can get away with killing it. We can just reactivate it, because this is all story bit. Yeah. Alright. That was attempt number one. Um, okay, so I think what I will do <coughs> is I will not bother using Ice Fang, because I think that really didn't help. And I will just stick to using Sand Tomb. I'll give this one more shot, probably going to go over episode time, but like, we got five episodes of this, so... Let's go for it. So I will hit Sand Tomb again. But this time I won't bother using anything else. Because Sand Tomb seems to be doing more than enough work. Oh, Registeel avoided it. Perfect. Okay, you know what? That works too, because now the initial hit will do less, and then the following hits will do about the same amount. <clears throat> and, you know, we should be able to get him in the red. Yeah, see, that did absolutely nothing. Ah, if only I had something that could paralyze. Oh, well, I mean, I technically do. But I don't want to damage him. Alright, you know what? Let's just fuck Ultra Balls. I need to go and buy some more stuff. This is not going to catch, I know that. I'm just, you know, wasting turns. Hey, yeah, that'll be a nice wasting tur turn to waste. Healing my mammal spine. Oh, well, I mean, now it's just gonna kill me if it can do that again. 
Okay, new plan. And let's switch out so that I can get rid of that Spadef Blood Drop. At least in this case, I resist Steel. Well, Steel is neutral. Oh, no, wait, Steel's still neutral, but that's going to do a lot of... Never mind. I was, I was wrong. Oh, it was also free from Quicksand because I swapped out. Goddamn. Alright, I guess I'll take my chances. Oh, hey, Volt Absorb. Okay, so I'm also immune to electric. Perfect. Come on. Got, we gotta get that paralysis. <clears throat> Ow. Rude. Why don't you hit me with another charge beam and just heal me up? Oh, that was a critical hit. Well, we have lost the privilege of using uh, th Thunderfang. Let's huck two more Dust Balls at it. And hope we can get lucky. Nope. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Tell you what, I'll probably cut it after. I will go as far as I can with this. Otherwise, I'm gonna call it an episode if this Registeel doesn't get caught, and I will pick it up next time. So, um. Really have much. I don't know how heavy Rage Steel is. And I'm not. I'm not hucking a Master Ball. Okay, I will huck. No, you know what? After this Ultra Ball, I will. Yeah. Okay. I will pick this up in the next episode, and you know we will just keep trying to catch this thing. And if we don't, well then we'll kill it. We'll go get some more supplies, and then we'll come back. So. Hate to leave you mid battle like this, but you'll have to come back next time to see how this all pans out. See you then.